Hi there, so uh, <clears throat> quick catch up. Um, I have been thinking, I've been doing um, the first um, group of, or the first module, which is um, sort of four videos. Really actually quite impressed with the fact that it's uh, psychologically based. So it's not sort of telling you to play this scale, play that scale, it's basically getting you to how you actually practice the, the, the songs that you want to learn and sort of push yourself to it. So what along those sort of guidelines <clears throat> and along what I've seen other students do, I have I'm going to choose a a solo that I think will I that I can then use to um, document my my um, um, rate of improvement through through the videos for myself more than anything else really so that I can see how, how I'm getting better. So choosing th I've got it down to three, that, well, probably 300 actually if I think about it, but I've got it down to three that I think would really push me, that I'll be able to start a little bit slower and then build up, um, and um, be able to monitor my, you know, how, how, how much better I'm getting. So I'm, I'm going to either go with Big Trouble from David Roth, Seaton and Smile, I know, attempting Steve Vai, what a fool. Uh, also, um, off uh, Rust in Peace, uh, Lucretia, Marty Friedman, phenomenal, uh, phenomenal guitarist. Um, and I can, I've even forgotten about who the, who the third... Oh, um, well, no, I'm not even sure that I've got a third. Because I sort of, sort of dipped in and out of, uh, of that. I mean, there was Joe Satriani's Flying in the Blue Dream that I was thinking of. Or, I mean, or one of I mean, Zach Wells was one of my idols, so maybe something like the Miracle Man solo, or, uh, or oh, yeah. I think I'm going to go for I'm going to go for Lucretia. There, I've made the decision. So I'll cut this now. I'll come back. I'm going to have a look at it, the tab, and see if I can get some good tab for it. Let's get a metronome on the go, so I can slow it up a bit, and, I'll, and then what I'll do is. Well then I've started get on a the start in position at, um, and then Lucretia. see how we move on. So I shall um, see you now. And um, mm. what I've done is I've sort of slowed the riff right down, which is uh, well, as you can hear that, let me turn that up a tiny bit, hold on. Uh, there you go. Uh, so but the, the the hard bit is the bit the the run that sort of goes on for me, so it, My head goes on it, so I've I've got it at fifty percent, and I'm going to keep looping fifty percent. So what I've done is I broke it down into sections like this. Um, so I started off with the first riff. That was it, and just kept looping that. And then add the next bit. And then so to break the other bit down was, and then stop that. And then the next bit added in, so I just kept, and I actually then switched the sections because I, I wasn't sure whether to do it as, you know, using my little finger whether to stretch to the third instead, and sort of come out of shape slightly. I'm not sure yet. I think I think I just need to know the notes in my head first, and then get comfortable with how the position changes. So. You know my dog actually very appreciative of my playing and I think I'll stop it there for a second because he wants his tea. Don't you?